I remember the last time I had a burger. It, it had two nice, meaty, tender meat patties in it. Do you guys remember the last time you had a burger? Yes. Hmm. We, on this planet, we currently have approximately seven billion people on this planet. And we are current, and, we, and our population is exponentially growing to eight billion, nine billion, ten. But the question is, how are we feeding all of these people? By the end of this speech, you will understand a little more about animal agriculture and how it affects us. These, by the end of this presentation, you will have an understanding of what animal agriculture is. I will first be talking about what is animal agriculture. Then I will be talking about how the, uh, the overpopulation problem and how, how animal agriculture affects our human health. So what is animal agriculture? Animal agriculture is the growing and breeding and raising of animals such as cows and chickens to be used for human consumption. These animals are kept in factory farms, and the conditions in these factory farms are usually not that good. According to Farm Sanctuary, an organize, a nonprofit organization, factory farms have large amounts of animals kept in these really tight conditions, and they are bred specifically for gro rapid growth. Study, studies made by the Humane Farming Association that bef before animals are sent, sent to be slaughtered, they undergo painful mutilations while they are still conscious. So, what is animal agriculture? Raising livestock for meats, eggs, and dairy, example, chickens and cows. Most are kept in factory farms and they're raised in extreme confinement. So how do we how do we feed a growing population? The answer to grow animals as fast as possible. In order to raise animals as quickly as possible, factory <coughs> farms give animals antibiotics in order to stimulate growth. And because because of the conditions of these factory farms more antibiotics are needed in order to pre prevent these animals from getting sick. Animals, animals are continuously impregnated for, for eggs and milk and for the continuous source of meat. And, and animals are given lots of antibiotics to stimulate growth. When, when we use antibiotics too much, this this can create anti this can cause rapid growth and proliferation of antibiotic resistant bacteria. According to Farm Forward, a non Farm Forward, a nonprofit organization, they stated to the magazine Natural Foods Merchandiser that risk comes from the overuse of formulated feeds with antibiotics, microbials and other microorganisms that, that are used for the purpose of stimulating growth. Because not only do they cause rapid growth, they also in, induce proliferation of uh, antibiotic resistant bacteria. And this is a major health concern because when if we consume these antibiotic resistant bacteria in our meat, we could become we could we could suffer from foodborne illnesses that, that are resistant to today's medicine. So, mix. Manure, so factory farms keep the anim, animals manure and urine in, in these open air pits called lagoons. These lagoons are known to caught to release high amounts of air pollutants. According to Animal Sanctuary, studies have discovered that 
uh, communities li living near factory farms de develop respiratory, neurobehavioral, and mental illnesses because of the resulting pollutants from these factory farms. These pollutants, all, these pollutants also include methane and hydrogen sulfide. These pollutants can cause serious health problems for anyone living near the near factory farms. So, factory farming and us. Factory farming can affect our health, be, as I mentioned, because of strains of antibiotic resistant bacteria. Manure and urine, urine can cause air pollution from these lagoons. And, and they can cause mental and physical health problems among local communities. <laughs> so, so I've I have first talked about I have first gone into some detail about what is animal agriculture. Then I have talked about how the oh, the overpopulation in relation to animal human overpopulation in relation to animal growing, and. And I have talked about how, how animal agriculture affects our health. So now I, so I, now I believe. Fact, factory farming not only affect, affects animals, but it can also affect humans as well, and not in very good ways. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.